Backyard Productions. How are you? Who are you? Uh, I'm Hatsune Miku from Boy. Awesome. What is that? Um, it's like a Japanese uh, technical band. They need singers. Oh, that sounds um, normal. That's fine. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I might have seen it, might not have. <laughs> Alright, now, uh, costume, how'd you make it? Did you make it? Did you buy it? I bought it. You bought it? Yeah. It was really hard to get it on, though. It's easy. <laughs> I feel like you could do it. <laughs> what made you uh, want to be this character? Um, I, I just really like, I, I really like Vocaloid, so I yep. thought, yeah, let's be Miku. So, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Any favorite specific <laughs> part of the anime you like? Um, well, they make music videos, and like, uh, my personal favorite from them is probably Skeleton Orchestra. So you like anything specific about Comic Con? Mm -hmm. um, been here before? I haven't been to a Comic Con in like forever, so this is like my first time in years. Yeah. But um, I, I love it so far. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Any specific uh, booth you like? No? Um, I really like the art booths. The art booths? Yeah. yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> anything else you want to say? Anything real quick? Um, no? No? No shout outs? Anything? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have shout outs. You want to watch our YouTube channel? We got a YouTube channel. What's our YouTube channel? It's called uh, Batyard Productions. I'll check it out. It's got some uh, random stuff on it, like uh, just funny skits or uh, a fan film we're making. It's a Batman versus Superman fan film. It's very, it's poking fun at the creative process and all that whatnot. <laughs> Some random, very practical effects, but cheesy. I mean, not <laughs> cheesy, but affordable practical practical effects. All right, well, you having fun? Yeah, yeah. Good. You want to say something on the camera? Anything? Uh, have fun, guys. <laughs> I represent myself. Oh, I am. Do you? So, that's so what I was hoping to hear. Oh, so okay. we haven't, you haven't had an interview. This is my yet. first con. So I'm in the middle of rebranding. Um, Miss Stark Metal Arc, because I'm an Iron Man obsessed uh, and a Tomb Raider obsessed. Um, but this is my metal art. I cut, weld, paint everything here. And um, now that I'm branching into the cosplay more so, um, yesterday I made a metal armor version of Katana from Mortal Kombat. So, yeah. Um, and then my roommate, I she was like a snow viking. So I made the chips on her belt. Um, I welded them and um, bent them. They were like steel chips. Um, so I'm just trying to get the word out, show people what I can do. This is your booth? Yes, this All is right, my booth. Come on. So, get a picture of this. Who do you guys represent? Backyard Productions, a YouTube channel. Okay. We do fan films and skits, parodies, all that stuff. Okay. So, um, you might want my roommate when she comes back. Um, me and her do a lot of, like, team cosplays. So, like, we did, like, she was Harley Quinn and I was Poison Ivy. Um, and then the next one, she's gonna, she's the Raven and I'm gonna be Starfire. Hey. So, um, we, honestly, it literally just for fun. Um, I've always loved to dress up. I literally had no idea what cosplay was until last year. Yep. I just would dress up for photo shoots just for the heck of it. Um, and then she's like, no, like you need to come with me. So last year I came to this con as a spectator and I did like a light version of Lara. But then once I saw all the amazing creativity and all the stuff people were doing, I was like, I need in on this action. Yeah. So yesterday, I'll show you. I did Katana yesterday. And today is Tomb Raider. So that's me as Katana. And oh, that's yep. my... Actually, I remember you. Yep, and then that's my roommates. Um, yeah, we so... interviewed them yesterday. Yep, yeah. so that's my roommate Emily and my friend Christine. Uh, so the positive feedback I'm getting because this is my first showcase. I put some stuff together. I barrel race semi pro. So when the horses are done racing, when we get the shoes off, I decided to repurpose them. That's great. Yeah, so my father was a welder in the Navy and he taught me how to weld and cut all the metal. So this is my showcase and I just wanted to show people what I could do and if they have any ideas, anything they want me to throw together. I The chips I made on hers yesterday, like that belt, I mean, I made them right off of her body. I took exactly measurements yeah and then um, when we put them on I put them on the small pieces I put on with velcro so it'll be very easy for cosplayers to stick it on whatever it is that they build whether it's off of foam to give it more of like a metal look I haven't actually gotten to like structure 
remembering anything, but when I do my first project because of the Miss Stark thing, is I'm gonna make a female version of Iron Man. So, wow. Yeah, so that's gonna be my first out project of, to tackle. Out of metal? Out of metal, so we're gonna see how this works. I don't know if it's gonna be like, actually like as tight knit, it might have to be out of like some foam and different things. I imagine it'll um, be heavy. Yeah, okay. so obviously that's gonna be something on the engineering side of it that I have to um, really structure properly so that it's functional. What kind of metal do you think it'd work with? Probably light steel, like weld steel. Yep. That's what I made the chips out of yesterday. Um, it can't be aluminum because aluminum is very, very hard to weld. Really? And I, yeah, so I wanted to go for, like, I really want to get that boxiness. I want people to see that it's metal. Like, this yeah. is not, I didn't cut this out of foam, I didn't paint it. Like, this is metal. A so, realistic look. Yep. Not some plastic crap. No, no, I really want to go for real life metal. And then my other biggest inspiration is Transformers. So, sometime down the line, I might do like a female Optimus, but like this is shooting for the, yeah, so I, I, my thing was I wanted to do very different stuff, so like Katana, like, I mean I, I see one today, but I've never seen one before, Tomb Raider, I don't see any other one, so I don't, I don't like doing mainstream stuff, I don't like doing things that other people do. Oh, I saw I like, yours yesterday, it's a little better than the ones I've seen. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, well I, I made that costume myself, the only thing I didn't make was the corset, but everything built off of it, the leather flaps, the leather skirt that I'm like, wore yesterday I made that by hand so oh, do you work with leather too yeah wow. yeah well, I, well with the horses the leather it kind of yeah. like goes hand in hand so I fix tack and stuff but all minor league like I'm not like movie uh, they, status but all I've ever done was feed horses and clean up the crap that's about it well I do that too <laughs> so right before I got here I had to feed the farm and then ran out here so I'm just trying to you know I guess let people know who I am what is it I'm trying to do who are you say it in the oh, camera oh well uh, my name's Julia uh, I am Miss Stark. I am Tony Stark's long lost daughter. Wow. He doesn't know about me yet, but here I am working with metal, doing all the things that he does. So, um, it'll be canon one day. What's that? So, uh, I'm just trying to show the world what it is that I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to drive the interest back to craftsmanship uh, and young people. I also teach young children how to ride horses, and I want to teach them how to work with their hands, whether it's working with the animals, yep. working with metal. I, hell, I don't care if they build a damn birdhouse, but building things has really instilled a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, I struggled a lot growing up. I was horribly made fun of, actually, for all my different interests. So. Um, I love working with kids. They're very non-stress. Their built, their mind isn't uh, corrupt with bills and debt and horrible things. So I spend all my days teaching kids how to work on the farm and hopefully eventually teach them how to maybe not necessarily work with metal. That might get a little bit dangerous, but um, just inspire them and show them what I can do and maybe they'd want to do it too. So yeah, get them away from the phones and computers. Yes, and get them back yes. Work Let's with your get them hands. exactly, exactly. Get them out of the phones. Get them. I mean, I don't want to say get them out of the video games. People, I might, I might be. I might be, uh, you know, uh, they might start throwing stones at me if I say get out of video games, but um, yeah, definitely use some of those skills that you learn in video games. Laura Croft, like one of the things I do is hey, archery. See something you like, make it. Yep, yep. So I, I want to teach kids how to do different things, you know? So I do kind of jack of all trades, master of none is my claim to fame. I do a little bit of everything, but I am not a master of any one thing yet. So That's pretty great. Thank you. What was your name? Dennis. Dennis, nice to meet you. Juliana. Likewise. Juliana. And are you from the area or are you? Oh yeah, we're local. Okay, so am I. Kipsey so, High Park. Yep. You know, that um, stuff. like Stormville Lagrange. So. Yeah. All oh, right, dude. I, so, uh, man, Stormville. That's a pretty great area. Yeah. Well, I'm right around the corner from the flea market. I mean, you do. Uh, yes. This is my my latest venture. Is my metal, metal art. And okay. what I was saying about my facility is I have a horse boarding business where I teach the kids how to ride the horses, and it's right around the corner from the flea market. Okay. So. What I'd like to do is the flea market, everything's got super commercial, right? But what was original was people had antiques, handmade yeah. things. So, right now, I'm trying to raise funds for my farm. And what I'm gonna do in the meantime is open up my barn. And I had an open house last week and used the little stalls as vendors, uh, stall stands, and make more like original farm market. So, um, like one of the things I have here is I have uh, organic syrup and stuff like that. So. One of my other claim to fame is um, overall wellness and uh, organic living. I am trying to get people to stop eating things that are killing them. And uh, I have this awful fear that uh, if 
there was no Subway or McDonald's or grocery store, uh, everyone would starve and die. Yeah, so, you, need, you, need, you need to help me on that one because I'm That's a good point. Yes, yeah, so what I'm essentially looking to do with my farm, other than teaching kids craftsmanship and about the horses, I want to teach them how to grow food. Yeah. So it's like, if I do nothing in this world, if I teach people how to survive and eat, my time here on Earth was well spent, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, there's a lot going on, but with the way I'm setting up my program, if I am able to succeed in buying my farm, we're going to implement construction in May, yeah. and I'm going to launch a summer program where I'm going to teach kids about horses and history, Native Americans and archery, because I'm, I'm not just a lower crop, I am an archer, and uh, I am going to teach them about plant development, agricultural science. These are all things that like my father taught me how to well. Growing up, we had a garden. I can grow cucumbers, melons, tomatoes, so I just, I want to bring the kids to my farm and show them what I can do, teach them things, important things, and teach them how to make good food for themselves. These are donated from a friend of mine. These are made uh, right in Wappinger's Falls, 100% organic. Um, and I want to bring all these locally grown, locally made things under one roof, and then ultimately encourage young entrepreneurs. We're all struggling, right? Working class America. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can do, do it on the side in your spare time. Make some money for yourself. Absolutely. So I got a lot of a lot of different pitches, but yeah, um, it like you, you keep yourself very busy. With all well, these that's why I thought the Miss Stark thing was because Tony Stark was what he made things and he inspired kids. Yeah. So the here I am, Miss Stark Metal Art, and then that was my way to protect my name, my real name, from the public because I don't want people chasing me down exactly. after the con. So yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to be here, but don't have a camera in my window. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So you hear that? Yeah. I no. <laughs> I guess we're done. Yeah. That was fun. Interesting. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So open house last weekend. Comic Con this weekend. Barrel race next weekend. So up in Fonda. It's two hours away. Yeah. yeah, I don't have business cards just yet. This is my first show, so we're, we're I'm getting there. I'm a huge Get Iron Man fan too. So. You're what? I'm a huge Iron Man fan. Oh yeah. I, I like could probably recite that entire movie by heart. Like I'm oh, yeah. I watch them on repeat like I could. Which one's your favorite? The second one. The second one's your favorite? No. Honestly, well, you know what it sells me? Yeah. Is I'm, I'm actually like a sports card phenomenon. So what sells me is when they go to Italy oh, and he's out on the track. Yeah. Oh man, like that would be life goals, like to build it like in the suitcase or at least like a rendition of it. Oh, yeah. oh man, that'd how be, cool would that be? be? Oh, yeah. Well, I love his suit there too, because like I said, I'm like a sports car like fanatic, so like yeah. maybe if one day if this gets big, like I want someone to like literally make me that Stark suit. The one that he's on the track with the blue. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, like I told you, I could tell you every detail of that movie. Like, I am diehard. That that's and Transformers. Anything like with the metal, that's like that's used, my thing. Yeah, I used to watch the cartoons when I was a kid all the time. I remember the uh, the movie. With, uh, what's his name? Oh my god, I can't remember. The, uh, he's, he's the large transformer the size of the planet. Unicron. Unicron. Okay. I'm not too versed with the history. Of, okay. I, I really, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of like a mainstreamer when the oh. movies came out. Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes.